My hands are a rainbow now. That's okay. Hey y'all cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Hey guys, it's McKenna, and today I'm going to be dyeing Easter eggs. Um, yeah, it's Easter. Happy Easter if you celebrate it. It doesn't really feel like Easter because we're all in quarantine, but I thought I'd still, you know, have fun and dye Easter eggs because it's fun. So I, like, googled and tried to find, like, weird ways to do it that aren't just, like, buying the dye and, like, putting the eggs in it. So I have five different ways that I'm going to try today to see if they work, and then if they do work, maybe to celebrate easter this year you can just stay at home and dye eggs in quarantine the first way that um we're gonna try this i've actually done already but i know that it works and i feel like it's really cool so you use you need shaving cream and food dye and obviously your eggs we have a bunch of hard-boiled eggs they need to be hard-boiled so i have a bowl here I'm only going to do two eggs per each one side. I can try a few different things, but if you're going to do more, then you can obviously use more shaving cream. Um, it needs to be like the, the white, what is it? It's like, but foamy. And then we're going to take this food dye and then put little like little dabs of food dye. Now that I have all the food dye in the shaving cream, I'm going to take a toothpick and kind of like swirl it around. This looks weird. Okay, so here's my swirled. I'm gonna put on a glove so that my hands don't get all dyed. And I'm just gonna set it in here and like swirl it around. Yeah. It's so hard, I can't like ground it too. So here's the first egg and it's just gonna look like this. And then you have to go let them sit. Don't wash it off yet. Just let it sit for a really long time so that the color can like soak onto it. So here's the second one. So just let those sit and dry, and then you can, we'll wipe it off later. Okay, so the shaving cream ones have been sitting, and like the dye has been soaking in for a few hours. So now we're gonna like rinse them off and like wipe them off so that you can see like what the final product looks like. Oh my god, that looks so cool. So the next one that I'm gonna try is like a hot glue thing. So you need hot glue and then dye that's like in water. So it's a water, vinegar, and food dye, or you could use like little egg dye tablets or something like that, and then a hot glue them. So yeah, you're gonna take your egg and then like draw on it with the hot glue and then let that dry and harden and then put it in the dye. And then take it out of the dye, let the dye dry, and then peel the glue off. And then it's supposed to like leave the spots where the glue is. So. Okay, so here is my first glue one. I'm gonna put this one in the red. I go do the other one, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my other egg. You can't really see it. Um, I'm gonna put this one in the the green. Yes? Blue? No, blue. I'm putting this in the blue. So here are the two finished hot glue ones. So this is the first one that I did. I was expecting it to be a lot easier to peel this off, but it kind of worked, but it's like... <gasps> the, the egg. The bro it take took the whole egg off. Took oh. part of the egg shell. <laughs> It went through it. It lit. It kind of like went through the egg. It's on the egg. Can I peel it? Yeah, if you want to. What did it do? Look at it. So here's our other one. It's they're all taken. Maybe don't do this one. I thought this one was gonna be like the one that was gonna work. But no, this glue just like wants to stick to the shell. Well, this was a disaster. Don't do this one. Okay, so this next one I've seen a lot and I've always wanted to try it. Um, so you basically, you're gonna take your egg and you crack the shell and then put it with the cracked shell into the dye. And then it's supposed to like seep into it and look like a dinosaur egg. I think that's what most people call it. Okay, so I cracked it. You can kind of see it. I don't wanna crack it anymore. I'll put this one. I have green and yellow left. So I'll do this one in the green. Here's the other one and it is going into yellow. So I'm really excited to do these two. You can kind of see better on this one, like where all the cracks are. <gasps> Wait, it kind of worked. That's so cool. 
Here's the yellow one. My fingers have blue dye on them, so that's why it's like green kind of. This is so cool. This next egg is supposed to kind of like mimic tie dye a little bit. So you're going to need Sharpies, rubbing alcohol, and little eyedropper. You're supposed to color on the entire egg with um, a Sharpie. So it's like all nice and colorful. And then you're gonna take the eyedropper full of the rubbing alcohol and it's supposed to kind of make it like spread out. So I'm gonna color on these and then be right back. What we finished drawing, this is the one that I did, very cute. And then this is the one that my mom did. She helped me because I was taking way too long to do this one. Is that what it said? Oh yeah, it's like smeared. Oh, that's kind of doesn't weird. really do anything. Drawing one way. Yeah, you can kind of see a little drips. I mean, it's, it's not like tie-dye, but like, it's cool because you can like see the little thingies, you know, the little drip marks. Okay, so this next one, we are gonna, this is also the last one. Um, we are going to make volcano eggs, kind of. So you basically mix baking soda with food dye and it'll make a paste. And then I'm gonna paint that on the egg and then it's gonna be like baking soda. And then we're gonna use the eyedropper again and use vinegar and drop it on there. And if you ever made one of those volcanoes that's like baking soda and vinegar, it like reacts and like bubbles. And that's what's supposed to kind of like, again, tie dye the egg almost, so. So I'm gonna do these one color at a time. So here's the blue paste. It's like also kind of thick. I'm just kind of painting it, you know, doing my own little thing. This is getting everywhere. This is really messy, you guys do this with caution, so. <laughs> Ew. Hey, here are my eggs. This is so messy, but I have one egg, two eggs. Right, we have vinegar in this bowl with the little eyedropper. Ooh, it's foamy. So again, we're gonna let these dry. You can kind of see they're like, I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, I'm gonna do like a final thing and show you all, all of them once they're finished, so. Okay guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, my hands are a rainbow now, that's okay. Um, yeah, some of them worked, some of them didn't really work, but yeah. This was fun. So yeah, happy Easter. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. So don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys next Sunday with a new video.